All right, guys, time for another ASMR sort of fragrance review. Today I'm going to do another by Killian because I got asked, and I've done a review on this before, but some people, a small minority, I guess, like these picture reviews, and I think it makes it a little bit more fun. So I'm going to do today Bible... <laughs> I was about to say Bible Black. You guys know I'm a nerd now. Don't judge me. I was about to say Bible Black, dude. I'm keeping it in. This is going one take, dude. <laughs> Back to Black. Okay, so Back to Black gets a lot of hype in the fragrance community. And is it worth the hype or not? Well, first of all, what do I think it smells like? I w first of all, this fragrance has an absolute ton of notes, right? Just an absolute ton, right? You look at this and you're like, wow. I would describe this fragrance as imagine you are walking and you're looking for Back to Black, the fragrance, right? And you find this huge pond and pool of some of the richest thickest honey you've ever seen in your life and on your treasure map you know that back to black is at the bottom of this pure lake of pure golden honey so you jump to the bottom of the lake lake and you go to find all the different notes that are in back to black and you go and you swim to the bottom and then you swim out of it and you get out of this <laughs> pool right and then after you get out of this lake of golden honey to clean yourself you take a some baby wipes right and you start to wipe down yourself wipe off all the honey off of your body and as you're wiping off the honey slowly you get some notes right like maybe you get a little bit of raspberry maybe you get a little bit of the tobacco maybe a little bit of the almonds the cherry whatever it might be but some notes are just so drenched in honey they're just almost unrecognizable right as you're again cleaning trying to clean off all this honey off of you with some like basically baby wipes right some notes are now indistinguishable almost right and that's pretty much basically what it smells like honestly i mean i guess it is a honey tobacco fragrance and a lot of people think that it smells like baby powder and i can tell you even when we're talking about fragrance or compliment wise it is a fragrance that i've worn enough to comment on compliments I don't think it's worth the hype compliment wise. I have gotten compliments, but um, even the compliments I get on it, I don't think are anything out of the norm in the grand scheme of fragrances to me. And a lot of times when people like the fragrance, they do indeed just say that you smell like baby powder. So, you know, it's basically what it smells like. The performance is good. I would say that it... Uh, it does smell a little bit different depending on uh, the weather. I think that it becomes a little bit more chewy and maybe gourmandish in the heat because of like that kind of cherry almond, a little bit more chewy like that. But again, so basically, generally speaking, imagine you jump in a huge golden lake of pure honey and you're looking for all these notes and back to black, the fragrance. Get out of the golden lake of honey. You wipe yourself off with a, some baby wipes and, you know, some of the notes are just so drenched in honey, some more than others, that it's just beyond recognition. But sometimes you can pick out a little bit more notes than others. But generally speaking, it's just, uh, you know, honey tobacco fragrance. But in the grand scheme of how many fragrances that I've smelled in my time in fragrances, it's just okay for me. Um, I would say it's not worth the hype. But like most by Killian fragrances, I do think it smells fine. But is it worth the hype? I would say not worth the hype in that terms. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Try it out. See what you think. Uh, the end.